Do you want to know how to do this? Well, guess what? In this video, I'm going to tell you. Because it's pretty simple. And with a few slight tweaks and changes to your gameplay and strategies, you can be winning games left, right and centre. So let's do this. Welcome to the show. Boost stats are one of the easiest ways to get right in to a leading position right from the bat. As all you have to do is focus on timing. If you can time your first start of your acceleration just as the two drops into frame, you can get a boost. Which might just be that one thing that cuts off that second on the time trial or manages to get you a first because in these games every second counts because it's a racing game. In real life a second is worth millions of pounds. In Mario Kart not so much but it can be the deciding factor. Boost starts are accomplished through pressing the A button just after. Like you see the two coming down and then you press it to allow you to get your boost start and go. Boost starts when paired with trick jumping can really level up your gameplay. This is done through, yet again, timing. Because when you just go off the ramp, if you hit the drift button, don't hold it down but just tap it once. You will trick jump and get a boost either in the air or when you land. Depending on a few details that I'm not going to go into because they're useless. You get a jump either way. But if you can pair that with a boost start, especially early on before people have managed to raise their coin count, which is another thing you should be aiming to do, you can get a massive lead early on which is going to be very hard to maintain if you don't look at your racing lines. Racing lines are actually one of the more advanced things that's going to give you a lead and an advantage throughout the whole width of your time playing on a specific track. For example, this specific part in Yoshi's Circuit, right after you boost on the waterfall, you need to start drifting and get right on those corners as soon as possible. Leading in tight around the curve, just before you get to the next corner, boost, hop onto the other corner, go around it tight. Then that should lead you pretty neatly into the next pretty hard straight line where you can just kind of go straight across without very many penalties. As you can see with this method, you can get some serious leads and racing lines go even beyond this. Like just working on mildly improving and finding ways to get to the corner faster or just round the bend a little quicker or get to the shortcuts because if you know where the shortcuts are, and then you can think of what's the fastest way to get from shortcut to shortcut on this track. You're going to be able to pull off some seriously incredible leads. Which, I mean, if you saw the minimap just before at the start of this video, you can see that what I did that I'm explaining to you can get some really high level leads. Which, honestly, is probably what you're looking for. If you enjoyed this video, check out this playlist here. I think you'll enjoy it. Bunch of Mario content. And with that, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.